Hello friends, in this video we will see, see the third uh, and last video of AutoCAD. After that we will do the practice only. I will upload the uh, like practice questions. So let's just see this last tutorial of the AutoCAD. In this tutorial we will see uh, rules of, uh, the, like how to do the dimensioning, uh, how to change the line type like center line, hidden line etc. And how to change the line weight means line thickness. Right, so I have taken this example. First, let's prepare this drawing. This is the drawing uh, which is, which consists of one rectangle. Rectangle dimension is hundred by seventy, and four circles are there. This center to center gap is fifty. Means uh, left and right margin is twenty five twenty five, and this center to center gap is thirty. So seventy minus thirty divided by two means 20 above and 20 below this is the margin so let's draw the object first don't skip this because uh, here uh, we'll see that how to draw the circle at some distance how to use the coordinate system see first let's draw one rectangle let's use this option here it is asking Specify first corner point. We'll take the reference from here. Uh, let's take this one is the start point of rectangle. Open this rectangle. Just type the dimension 100, comma 70. Enter. So now the question is how to draw this circle here. How to take measure this value? This value is 25 x axis and y axis is 20. So let's see. First, you have to type UCS. UCS. Enter. It is asking specify origin of UCS. So let's say this is the origin. After clicking, just enter. It is asking specify point on x axis. So let's say this is x axis. Click here. This is second click. Now it is asking specify point on xy plane. So this is the second point. It's it's a y axis. So just just click here. Now this is your origin zero comma zero. So now type here circle, or simply you can choose it from the toolbar. So it is asking specify center point of circle. Right. So here you can put the coordinates to draw the circle. This point was very important here which was missed in the last tutorial so here x coordinate is 25 this one and y coordinate is 20 it is asking specify center point of circle so type 25 comma 20 enter so now you can see the circle has been started from here now specify diameter so type diameter 20 enter right so this is the way to find out the coordinates. Simply you have to move the UCS. This UCS was uh, missed in the last tutorial. So this is the way to move the UCS. So you can work with the coordinates also. Now simply you can copy this. Press enter. Specify base point. Touch this circle. We'll draw this circle first. What is the distance between these two circles? You can see this is 50 mm distance. So just type 50 enter now draw the circle here what is that gap between these two circles yes that is 30 so type 30 enter now we have to draw the circle here so here either you can define the coordinates here the coordinates will be uh, 50 plus 25 75 x axis right and y axis will be 30 plus 20 that is 50 so I will not type the coordinate. What I will do here, I'll use the projection. Just place your cursor here. Click ni karna pe. Place your cursor. Move it right side. Now from this center, take the projection vertically. Now you can click. Here you can click. So this is the last circle. So now we can dimensioning kaise karni hai, line weight kaise change karna hai. So for dimension, here you have two options. This is dimension quick dimension 
so you can simply select this line go to this line click on the line move outside let's say i want to take 20 mm gap so type 20 enter now i want to write this 50 mm from this center to this center so here you have to use this linear option i hope you got the difference between quick and this linear quick mein kya ho raha hai ki simply you are selecting the line aap kisi bhi line ko select kar lo uski puri dimension aa jayegi the full dimension will be there in linear you have to select the points let's select this center this second point now move your cursor outside so here we'll place this dimension again i'll use this quick dimension select this line click on this line now either inside or outside basically outside we are doing the dimension so you can click here second point now i want to write this dimension this one 30 mm linear option i'll choose here choose this first center second center i hope you have noticed in between the command without exiting exiting from the command you can use the pan option also by pressing the scroll button by pressing the scroll button in between the command you can use the pan and zoom so this is the dimension in your case a problem kya aayegi in your case ki sir i'm doing the dimensioning but here arrow head is not visible this dimension is not visible how to do the setting of this and i want to convert it into unidirectional style so let's see how to convert it in your direction how to show arrowhead and even in your case maybe the extension line is touching the object to see how to change this here you have to type command dimst i'm not clicking anywhere here simply type d i m s t so this is dim style press enter go to modify now first option is lines so you are saying that uh, uh, extension line is touching the object so if extension line is touching the object you can change this gap in your case it may be 0.625 so you can increase it as per your requirement if you will increase this then extension line here you can see my cursor this extension line will not touch the object now next is symbols and arrows so this is arrow size in your case arrow size may be 0.625 or whatever it is as per your requirement you can increase the arrow size so here i have i uh, have selected three arrow size right next is text might be dimension is not visible on the dimension line so here you can change the text height here you can change the text height 2 3 4 5 as per your requirement next is primary units might be in your cases it is showing 70.00000 just like this so you can just take the precision as zero right press ok close your dimension will be modified in your case now uh, one thing we have missed we have to convert it in unit direction also so just go again d i m s t y dim style modify here you have to go in text in text you have to select horizontal here it is vertically centered and horizontal centered here it is horizontal vertically centered horizontal centered now it will be converted in unidirectional style now you can write the diameter of the hole also this is the diameter option radius option here you can write the diameter 20 so one dimensioning method is there there is no need to write the dimensions again and again instead of this you can use the leader option this one just say the second option leader leader click here 
just wait for one second here you can type four holes comma dia for dia here you have to use this symbol phi as you know radi r is the symbol of radius we are using r for radius and phi for diameter so here is the diameter dia 20 you can click outside so it is ready now here also if text is not visible so you can change the text size in annotate annotate uh, sorry annotate here you can change the text height so this is the dimensioning settings of the dimensioning now second is the line weight like you want to convert it into thick line so let's select this line zero point three so here you can see it is not getting changed if i'll click on this line here it is getting 0 0.3 but in drawing it is not showing so how to do this here you have one option lw display so just select this if this option is not there at last one option will be there that is customization option in customization option lw display will be there i have already demonstrated in uh, this in video one so just select this line with display right and the last one is the center line chain line etc that how to use uh, draw the uh, change the line type here i want to draw the center line basically so draw one vertical line here draw one horizontal line i want to change this in chain type of line so go to this third option in your case if it is not available then properties option will be there uh, you can uh, just open the drop down you will get these options in properties here one option will be there properties right this one so you can go there so this is the third option by layer go to other option load option Here you will see center is there press ok close now select these lines now you have the center line here so this is center of the option here we can say the center line is very magnified uh, we can reduce this magnification also in your case see depends on your drawing sometimes you need to increase this magnification sometimes you need to decrease this magnification sometimes it will look like this one single line only so how to change the magnification level go to other option you will have the global scale factor if it is not here click here hide details show details show details for right in our case we will reduce the global scale factor it is one so i will reduce it, reduce it to 0 0.25 okay now you can see the center line apart from this also we have one option to mark the center go to the annotate here center is the line is there is asking select first line let's say this is first line then this is second line it will show you the center again first option line second line it will show you the center this option is also there uh, this option is also there both the options are there no doubt the second option is easy but here you can go uh, you can just download uh, you can load the other lines also like hidden lines are there load this is dash type line which is used to represent the hidden part of the object so you can load few more lines here right so i hope this part is clear in case if you are facing any issue or any difficulty please post your comments thank you so much